Hello, Cesar. Welcome. How are you? Hello, Hello teacher. Hello. Todavía está en el trabajo. Escucha ahí en background. No, no, no. No. Okay. So let's see. Give me a second. Hello, Virginia, welcome. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, guys. Nice to uh, hear you. Bienvenidos, chicos. Vamos, quien más está por ahí? Jessica, Karen. Hello guys, nice to see you. How are you? ¿Cómo están chicos? Bienvenido. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? How was your day, guys? Tell me. ¿Cómo me le fue hoy? Cuéntenme. Hi. Ya deseando que sea viernes, sábado, domingo. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, welcome. Wilfredo, hello, Wilfredo. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome. Okay, so nice to see you guys. So we're about to start. So welcome back again. And let's see. So we're going to start with a short game. So I really need your help. And you're going to see some vocabulary related to some nouns. And I want you to give me the correct spelling. We're going to make two teams. And let's see. Okay. So we're going to play a spelling B. So you're going to spell some nouns. 
let's see. Hers so pay attention to your number. Uh, Harrison, Wilfred, Harrison, team one. Wilfredo, team one. Ileana, team number one. Jessica, team one, okay? And uh, Julio Cesar, team one. Karen, Sonia, Virginia. Okay, and Julio, team two. Okay, Julio Cesar, Karen, Sonia, and Virginia. You are team number two. Okay, clear? Ya todos tienen su equipo? Yes. Okay, perfect. So don't forget your number. And se les olvida ahí su número. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's start with team number one. Please pick a number. Team one, go ahead. Pick a number. So, elijan un número. Team one. Number nine. Number nine. So you have to give me the correct spelling, okay? So the team, the rest of the team can help you. El equipo también puede ayudarles si no conoce la palabra. So the word, let's see, I'm going to tell you the word, but you have to give me the correct spelling, okay? Yo le digo la palabra y ustedes me dan el spelling. Milkshake, team one. M I R A. Can you repeat it again, Wilfredo? The M I L E or A H A K E. Mm, no, no, that's not that way. So let's see. Uh, any other volunteer? Team one. Vamos a ver, alguien más del equipo uno. So try to give me the correct spelling. M I L K S uh. No. <laughs> Can we <H> go? <laughs> okay. S H E A. Mm, no, sorry. So the word was milkshake. I know. Check that again. M. Uh -huh. uh, Wilfredo, can you give me the spelling? M I L K S H I K E. Uh -huh. A K E, right? So, oops, no points. Let's see, team two, select a number. Vamos a ver, permítanme un segundito que ya se nos incorporaron más personas. Vamos. Um, Mirna, team two. Mirna, usted va con el equipo dos. Y okay. veamos eh, quién más se nos acaba de incorporar. Sonia. Creo. No, teacher. ¿Eh? no, teacher, ya estaba en el team two, solo que se me salió que un poco mal la situación. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver, ¿y de los caballeros? ¿Alguien más que no le hemos asignado grupo? Yo, Teacher, hola, buenas noches. Hola, Eduardo, ok. Eh, Eduardo, Team One. Va con el equipo. Ok. Nice. So let's see, Team Two, select a number. Number Two. Number Two. Good. So, what do you think about this one? I don't remember that one. Okay, so hold on. P. Uh huh. P A R K. P A R K. Okay, so let's check. Perfect, excellent. Park. Good. Let's see. Team one, go ahead. Pick a number. Ileana? Four. Four, okay. So the word is easy, right? Orange. Team one, quickly. You have 30 seconds. Tienen 30 segundos, okay? Team one. O R O R 
A N S E. Mm. Can you repeat it again? O R A H A E. Mm. No, I'm sorry, Alfredo. No, that's not correct. Okay. A N D E. Okay, nice. Repeat it again, Ileana. It was Ileana, right? ¿Quién la dijo? Ileana. Or, or, uh, or, or, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds. So you have to be a little bit faster. Let's see, team two, select a number. 11. 11. <laughs> Upper. Okay, spell it. A-P-P-L-E-E. -E. -E. Okay, perfect. Very good. Let's see, team one. Go ahead, team one. Five. Five, okay. <laughs> C. C. A. A. R. R. Perfect. So it's a car. D2, select a number. Six. Six, okay. <laughs> so what? It's a verb, it's a verb. It's a verb. It's a verb. So look at the fox. It's jumping, right? I jump. J O M P. Mm. Let's see somebody else. So, so, so. Let's see somebody else. J. Uh huh. J O M. Oh, la U se me olvidado. <laughs> J U M P. No. <laughs> no, come on, what's happening? So let's check that. <laughs> G, uh, so we have J, U, M, P, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this is J, U, M, P. M, right? M. So no point for this one. Let's see, team one, go ahead, team one. Number one. Number one, okay. So go to first place. Nice, they gave you 10 points. Let's see, team two, select a number. Number three. Three. Double points, wow. <laughs> okay. Ustedes se pelean ahí por ganar, vamos a ver. Team one. Select one. Ay, no, pero ya llevamos más. 25. Ok, team one, somebody. El grupo uno. Number 10. 10, ok. So, what's the word? Cool. No, no, it's, it's coffee. Uh huh. No. Can you spell it, thing one? C O F F E R. I. No. <laughs> Let's see, one. -O -O repeat it, repeat it. F I I. Let's see, I need a volunteer for team one. Vamos a ver, uno por uno. O O F F. Mm, okay. Somebody else? C O F F 
E. 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 O O F F E E something like that, right? And later on you said A A. No. <laughs> okay, so oops, no point for this one. Team two, select one. A. A. Okay. So what's that? <laughs> Eraser. Uh huh. So can you spell it? Eraser. E R A S E R. Okay. E R, right? R. Uh, R. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Team two. Team one, please. Seven. Seven. Okay. So take points from team two. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> Do you want Perfect. to take 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? ¿Cuántos puntos le quieren quitar al equipo? 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. Wow. Okay. Arenero tenían que hacer. Okay. Nice. Let's see. So it changed. Uh, well, it has changed everything. <laughs> Let's see. Ok, no están contentos los del equipo que les quitaron fondo. Vamos a ver, team 2, uh, select a number. 14. 14. Red. R-E-D. R-E-D, nice, perfect. Let's see, team 1, pick a number. 16. Ruler. Spell it. R U L E R. Okay. Nice. Team two, pick a number. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. <gasps> Black. B Black. L A C K. Perfect. Black. Okay. Team one, select number. This is your last chance. Team one. Team one, are you there? Keep one. Partner, select one. Thirteen or twelve? Team one? Twelve. Twelve, okay. So what's the word? Star. No. Shoe. Uh-huh. Can you spell it? Zapato. Yes. O E. No. Somebody else? Is there alguien más? Alguien más del equipo? So repeat it again. Uh, we're afraid to repeat e it again. Okay. S. A. S. A. O. E. E. Perfect. Uh -huh. Um, okay, and the last one, team two, double the points. Okay, nice, interesting. Okay. Rayos. No pudimos, pero para la próxima nos vamos a, les vamos a ganar ahí con el equipo uno. Bien. <laughs> Ahí no hubo ningún amaño, vamos a ver. <laughs> okay, so let's continue uh, discussing um, the prepositions of time. So let me share with you. 
So we're going to have a review. Uh, later on, we're going to um, talk about some topics that we discussed during the week. And let's see. Uh, remember that we use uh, prepositions in order to uh, talk about specific times or periods, such as dates on the calendar, uh, days of the week, or actual time something takes place, right? Or the actual time um, that something takes place. So let's see, for example, we have on for dates, in for general, um, for example, general parts of a day or months, years, and at, we were discussing about at in the previous session for specific times, right? So now let's continue. When do we use in? When do we use in? So remember, we use it with months, seasons, years, decades, centuries, long periods, and parts of the day, right? So this is just a review. And now tell me about on. When do we use on? When do we use on, yes? To talk about? Day. 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 A specific day. Perfect. So for example, days on Tuesday, Saturday, on my birthday, on Christmas day. And this is about, let's say, for example, specific days or celebrations, right? Aquí para celebraciones o días especiales. On Christmas Day, on Mother's Day, on Independence Day, on Halloween. And we also have dates. También tenemos acá lo de las fechas. Ya les tengo por ahí algo que les voy a mostrar para que veamos cómo eh, crear las fechas. And we also have parts of a specific day, a Monday morning, right? So hold that. Okay, so parts of a specific day on Monday morning, on Friday evening, on Saturday night, and on Sunday afternoon. So keep that in mind. So let's continue with the last one. We're talking about at, right? And when do we use at, guys, to talk about? Time of day. Time of day. Holiday, mm -hmm. meal times, holidays, and and we also have some expressions, right? Con las expresiones, pues son las que no podemos modificar. Tenemos que decir tal cual. At present, at the moment, at night. Mm, there are some people that say in the night, but well, that's not really common to me. But you can also say, it, even though we normally use at night, right? So that is the preposition that we normally use. And let's see. So we're going to um, practice, okay? We're going to practice with some exercises right now. And let's see, I'm going to share this with you. Okay, so I want you to help me um, with this game. So you have to select the correct preposition of time. Tienen que elegir la preposición correcta. Caroline works at the office on the morning, in the morning, or at the morning. At the morning. In the morning. Okay. So what do you think? Escriban ahí su respuesta también por el chat. Quienes no activen ahí el micrófono, pónganla en el chat. So what do you think? In the on, morning. In or at? In. In, okay. In, teacher. In. Perfect. Let's see, next sentence. Michelle has barbecues with her family on the mm -hmm. weekend, in the weekend, or at the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. Okay. On the weekend. Okay. So it was actually at, but uh, remember that that depends on the pronunciation. Eso depende de la pronunciación. Entonces ahí sí podría eh, ser válida on, on weekend o at 
that we can, right? Let's okay. see, I have English classes on Monday morning, in Monday morning, at Monday morning. On Monday, on Monday morning. morning. Okay, on Monday uh, morning. Mm -hmm. Perfect, ready for the next one. Uh, Wilfredo, read the sentence, please. Monica gets wonderful gifts in her birthday. And in, on, in, or at? In, 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 at, in her birthday. At her Okay, so let's see. Try to give me, think a little bit more. I have just mentioned that. Her birthday, is that a special day or not? Yes. So what is the correct preposition? Um. On, right? Recuerden, con días especiales, utilizamos on, on her birthday. Let's see, um, please, Karen, read the next one. Children? Children, Sky. Winter. Okay, so what's the correct preposition? On, in, or at? In. In, right? With seasons. On las estaciones, right? Let's see, ready for the next one? We have lunch. On noon, in noon, or at noon? At, at noon. At noon. At noon. At noon, okay, perfect. So let's see the next one. People celebrate Diwali on November, in November, or at November. In. 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 At November. At. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what do we use when we talk about the months of the year? Con los meses del año? In. In, in, in right? November. In uh -huh. November. Okay, the next one, number eight, I do yoga on Friday, in Friday, or at Friday? On Friday. On Friday. Awesome. Let's see the next one. So you have to be fast. She goes to bed. On night, in night, or at night? At, at night. At night. Awesome, you're very fast. Sí, para el siguiente um, le voy a enviar el link para que me mande el resultado. Vamos a ver. My family watches TV on the evening, in the evening, or at the evening? On. Um, at um, um, Parts of the at, day. In. On at, parts of a day. On on on. You sure? At, in. in Caesar, what do you think, Caesar? In in in. Perfect, Caesar. In, in right? Let's see the next one. We come home on three p.m. Uh, in three p.m. or at three p.m. At uh, at 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. Okay, perfect. Awesome, guys. Let's see. And the last one, school starts on September the 1st or the 1st of September in the 1st of September and at the 1st of September. On. 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 Okay, for dates, ¿verdad? Para fechas. Okay, so you're ready for the next one? Yes, tell me. Ready? So I'm going to share the link with you. So there you have it. I'm going to send it through the chat. So open the chat in Zoom, and there you have the game. Entonces, ya les compartí ahorita el enlace del juego. So in here, you have to classify the preposition, the words, with the correct preposition. Hay que clasificar las preposiciones, las palabras que están a su izquierda con la preposición correcta. At Wednesday, in 
9 p.m., for example, and on Thursday. So you have to classify that. If you think that's true, so you put the word in that uh, square. Entonces, ustedes solamente van arrastrando, ¿verdad? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you drag the square, the arrastran, you drag the squares, and then you decide. Okay, at Christmas, in night, for example, on the 1st of August. Okay, so do it, and then you send me the screenshot. Do it, and then you send me the screenshot, and then we do it together. ¿Ya todos tienen el enlace? So think about the think about the words and the preposition. Think about it. Okay, quien va terminando envía la captura y el grupo. Vamos a ver. So let's see how you do. It. Okay, we have Luis, eight, okay. Nice, let's see. ¿Quién vio la segunda? No me aparece el nombre ahí. Ya le voy. So we only got Luis. Sonia, okay, Sonia, ahora sí. Que lo tenía registrado, pero con el... Parece que tiene ahí unas iniciales. Ya la cambiamos. Stella, very good, Stella. Thank you, Omar. Stella, a worry, Stella. So how about the rest? Hey, los demás, ¿dónde están los demás? Oh, don't worry. Anyways, you're going to see a uh, be a document where you have to, well, I'm going to show you some, uh, let's say, classification. So where you can see the, how to, <laughs> how to match them. Let's see. Hey, <laughs> Janet. I don't worry, Janet. Eduardo. Okay. Okay, so let's see, let's start doing it together. We have Wilfredo. Thank you, Wilfredo. Let's see the first part, at. So what do you have for at? Tell me, tell me your options, at.
Wednesday. At Wednesday. This way. So what do you think? How about the rest? Vamos a ver los demás, ¿qué opinan? At. At night. At night, okay. What else? At, at 9 p.m. Okay, at 9 p.m. And at uh, midnight. At midnight, wow. So are they correct? Are they correct? So we have at Wednesday, at night, at 9 p.m., at midnight. Yes? On Thursday? No, on Thursday. Which one? At, at Thursday. On Thursday. Hmm. Let's see. Thank you, Gabby. So let's continue with the next one, then we check it. Sigamos con la siguiente, después lo, lo vemos nuevamente. In. So what do you have for in? ¿Qué tienen ahí July. para in? In. July. July. Perfect. In. Christmas. In Christmas. Is yeah. that a celebration? Holiday? Do I use it with in? Oh, no, 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 no. In. Sonia? Nice, Karen. 2020. <laughs> In, okay. 2020, okay. 2020. In 16. 16. Okay. In the 60s. Any other? Um, first August. In, first August. Yes. Mm, okay. So what do you, and for on, I guess that you have this, right? On Thursday, on autumn, on Christmas, and on New Year's Day. Vamos a ver, ¿quieren modificar alguna? ¿Cuál sería la que tendríamos que modificar? Wednesday. Wednesday? Because it's a day. It's mm -hmm. a day. Ah, okay. And what about autumn? Autumn. So what happened with this one? Antonio. Uh huh. So where is that? In, in. It's a season. In. Okay. Yes. So do I? Sh um. Let's see. Do I have to modify it with? By first August. First August. First August. Okay. And first and how August. About first August. On on. On. Yes. Or uh, for Christmas, for Christmas. Christmas. Christmas, okay. ¿Todas las tenían así? Yes, me, yes. <laughs> okay, no. so let's see, let's read it again. At Christmas, at night, at 9 p.m., at midnight, okay. in July, in 2020, in the 60s, in autumn, on Thursday, on Thursday, um, on Wednesday, Wednesday, on the 1st of August, on New Year's Day. So let's check it. Okay, tamale una captura ahí. Show answers. Ahí tienen las respuestas. So look at this. Um, okay, con la medianoche que decíamos, utilizábamos at. Con Christmas. Bueno, con Christmas. Todavía podría valerse las que pusiéramos acá, on Christmas Day. Podría ser posible. Pero solamente la utilizamos acá con at Christmas in autumn. Vamos a ver aquí. ¿Qué teníamos acá? ¿Qué le salió malo? Me parece que aquí habíamos puesto una fecha, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Recuerden que las fechas van con other, fechas específicas. Las estaciones del año con in, los años, los meses, las décadas, on, los días de la semana, fechas específicas, eh, celebraciones, por ejemplo, on New, uh, New oh, Year's Day, yeah. on Mother's Day, on Independence Day, 
for algunas celebraciones on Labor's Day or at Labor's Day on Wednesday, right? Okay. Now let's continue. I'm going to show you uh, how to use them. In here, you have some specific um, words that you use with these prepositions. Hay algunas palabras en particular que usted las va a utilizar con in, con on y con at. Por ejemplo, veamos acá, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in February, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, autumn, in the winter, in 2013, in the 90s. Entonces, ya tenemos acá parte del día, los meses, las estaciones del año, los años y las décadas ahí. And we also have on for days of the week. Entonces, tenemos días de la semana, parts of a specific day, partes de un día en específico, el lunes en la mañana, la tarde del martes, la noche o tarde del miércoles. On my birthday, también lo que les decíamos acá, ocasiones especiales, fechas especiales. On my birthday, on a holiday, on May the 5th, on a weekday, and on the weekend. On the weekend. Esta es la forma americana, on the weekend. Ahí recuerden que solo lo que cambia es la pronunciación, con at, y tenemos at, ¿verdad? Con night, y con horas. Con estas palabras también, noon and midday, at noon, at midday, at midnight, at bedtime. Entonces, estas sí tienen que memorizarlas. Bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the weekend. Estas serían algunas que usted debe clasificar con at. Creo que las que no habíamos incorporado serían estas dos. Eh, me parece que esta, no, no sé seguro si la vimos ayer, pero esta también, a la hora de de dormir, ¿verdad? Al sunrise. So what is sunrise? La el amanecer. El amanecer, ajá. Y sunset el atardecer. El atardecer, ¿verdad? la puesta del sol. So what is the pronunciation with the weekend with on? On the on the weekend. On the weekend and at the weekend. The weekend, right? Weekend. Okay. Weekend. Weekend. The stress goes at the end. Aquí el stress va aquí al final. At the weekend, right? So that's all. Um, so if you want, you can take a screenshot. Tómale ahí una capturita de pantalla. Okay, so now the next one. On. So let me know. You're ready? Ready. Yes. Okay. Now at. Okay, so let's continue. So now it's time to classify these prepositions with the words. Okay, so listen, I'm going to give you time so you can classify that in the following chart, okay? So let me see, I can make a screenshot. Aquí vamos al ejercicio. Are you ready? Yes, ready. Ya todos tienen la screenshot? Okay, perfect. So listen, I want you to classify these words with the correct preposition. Vamos a clasificar esas palabras con la preposición correcta. Okay?
So you're going to do that in groups, groups of three. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien que se me ha quedado sin recibir invitación? Ah, vaya. In the morning, on Sunday, con at irían at night, dije. Ah, uh, a at en at, bueno, yo creo at night. On is what I, on, hello, hello, agarrar una foto. Sí. Yo sí la tengo. ¿Y quién está compartiendo? Mi hijo. Yo. Lo quito. Lo saco. Y ponga la foto que le mandé al grupo. Bueno. Pueden ver. No, ahorita no. Si no. alguien más la puede compartir. Se mira un poco. ¿Así? Así. Ah, ah, va, entonces empecemos con el mejor. Las primeras. Dejar. Sería... La primera, ¿sabe? Night. In the morning. 
Eh, ¿En cuál? Ah. Va. De modo. Uh -huh. Bueno. No. A ver. Teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Eh, Vamos a hacer una oración o solo buscar el. Solo el... clasificarla. Solo clasificarla. Ok, ok. Es que yo pensaba que íbamos a escribir la oración completa. No, 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 Te estás adelantando. Dios. Ok, entonces sería... Etnum, Middle. Etnum. Eh, esa es la, la tercera. Jessica la sabe. My birthday. My birthday. Uh -huh. On my on my birthday. Perfect. Uh -huh. Perfect. La cuarta día at ten af af. Ah, ya me olvidó cómo dice media hora. Half past. Half. It's half past. Them. Okay. Gracias. On Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. Teacher. Hello. Una consulta a un weekday, weekday, ¿dónde serían bueno, sí, los días de semana? ¿Los días de semana? Sí. En un uh, week, uh -huh. weekday. On, on weekdays. On a weekday. In on también es my birthday. Ajá, una fecha especial. Una fecha especial. Um, on the. No, no sé cómo In se termina. When, Wednesday evening. Uh -huh. On Wednesday evening. ¿Y ¿Cuál era la que decía Gerson? On, on the. No sé cómo, cómo se dice 1990. Ah, pero uh, eso sería con décadas. Décadas, ¿verdad? ¿Con décadas cuál utilizamos? On. In. In. Ajá. In. Con décadas, con décadas, con años, con siglos y con, con meses. Los meses. Ajá. Utilizamos in. También uh -huh. con las estaciones del año. Ajá, con las estaciones del año. In. Eh, on Tuesday afternoon. On Tuesday afternoon. Ajá, con fechas es yeah. on. Con fechas es on. Yeah. Tuesday afternoon. Here, what is winter? Es el invierno. Winter. Winter is in. In, in the winter. In the winter. The evening on oh, no in the evening ajá uh -huh. in the evening ahí vayan clasificando las vayan tomando ahí el punte sí lo voy a hacer mm -hmm. eh, teacher no sé si después me pueda mandar o la pueda mandar al grupo las preposiciones que puso el día de ayer en in on y at captura ah, at Ah, ya le tomo una captura. ¿sí? Por favor, por favor, gracias.
the weekend. In and in también va far out. Creo que su sueño. And at Monday morning. On Monday morning. On Monday morning. Uh -huh. Partes de un día eh, en específico. El, por ejemplo, on Monday morning. El lunes en la mañana. Lunes de la mañana, on Monday morning. <laughs> Excellent, so that's a new method. Qué chido es el método que han hecho. <laughs> me llega. <laughs> me llega, me llega bastante. <laughs> Okay. Do you have any doubt question? No? De momento quizás no teacher. Okay. Gracias. Me faltan poquitas, ¿verdad? Oh, sí, más o menos. Sí, ya. Creo que ahora como unas tres. On Wednesday evening. Okay. On Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. On a weekend day. Bueno, el, el the weekend lo puse en, en at the weekend. Ajá, yo lo puse en, lo, en los dos, ah, pero ese es, es weekend day. Weekend day. Del que ah, dice weekday. a weekend day. Weekday. Weekday. Ah, week. Ah, Un día week. de la semana. ¿no? Ajá, el que está abajo de February. February. Ah, ok. Entonces, on a week. A day. weekday. Uh -huh. Weekday. Okay. ¿Ya las terminaron todos? Yes. 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 Okay, let's see. Okay, nice. So if you have written that, send me a screenshot. To the group. Okay. Compartamos ahí una nada más y póngale quienes la trabajaron. Ok. Ok. Para ser el elegido. Ay, Dios.
Okay, so let's continue. So now we have a new task. Los que ya terminaron con la tarea anterior, compartan nada más un screenshot ahí de quienes trabajaron en esa screenshot, en esa actividad. Y nada más envíenme una foto ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, so let's continue with this exercise. So we have to complete the sentences with the correct preposition. Number one, let's see. Um, Karen, please read number one. My brother has a new job. He works in the evening. Mm -hmm. evening. 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 Okay, number two. We're going to have a picnic. Saturday afternoon. Would you like to come? ¿Te gustaría venir? Vamos a tener un picnic. Saturday afternoon. Would you like to come? ¿Te gustaría venir? So what is the correct preposition here? On. On. Okay. Mm. On. Number three, I'll be finished my work an hour, then I can go home. At, 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 at an hour. So let's see, I think I didn't mention this one. Look at this. Um, okay. Ok, esta de hour la vamos a clasificar acá. So, this one time. Bueno, eso sería con horas. And this with minutes. So I will say this is uh, uh, minutes or hours. This one. In. An hour. Let's say. So hold on. Okay. Oops. Sí, permítanme que la perdí. Acá está. Okay, again, uh, repeat the sentence. Sentence number two. Karen, please. We're going to have a picnic. We're going to have a picnic on Saturday afternoon. Would you like, on Saturday afternoon, would you like to come? Okay, number three. I will finish my work on an hour. In. Or in an hour. In. in. In, in an hour. Then I can, I can go home. Okay. In an hour. In an hour. And number four, when is the meeting? It, it at two. At two o'clock. Two o'clock. Okay. So when is the meeting? Is it at two o'clock? Number five. I like to get up really early. In, in at sunrise. At mm -hmm. sunrise. Sunrise. Um, sunrise. Um, so at, what do you think? In in sunrise. Okay. At at. So check the check the. Um, let's see. Let me see if I have it here. So again. Sunrise. Let's see. At. At. At, right? At sunrise. At sun. The next one, volunteer for number six. Tom's birthday is next week. In At. January 14th. <laughs> on on oh, January 4th. On January the 14th, right? On January the 14th, seven, my grandfather, seven, somebody, somebody. Seven, my grandfather was born in the 15th. Mm -hmm. in the 50, okay, 50s. Number eight. 
will we be will we be on time or on will we be miss on time perfect okay con la palabra time vamos a utilizar on on time y con los minutos y con las horas in. vamos a utilizar in 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 some minutes we're going to start with the class in a few minutes vamos a decir in a few minutes minutes okay or in some minutes so that's up to you let's see the next one number nine my family and i like to sky in winter in winter in winter in winter 10 are there any holidays in october um, in october in october okay 11 wilfredo can you read that one please our school our school capacity open or blind at noon at noon at noon at, at noon, noon okay. right? At Let's noon. see. 12, Caesar. Um, what time? It's night. What time does? At night. At night. What time does at it? At night. Okay. So read the question, Caesar. Read the question. We move it to the city in at at with years con los años cuál lo utilizamos con los años in 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 right so we moved to the city in in 2012 mm -hmm. 2012 14 are you going to do anything special on your birthday on your birthday okay and the last one i'm not going to watch that tv show it starts at midnight at midnight right so you have to concentrate now that you have the information you have to concentrate let's see next exercise so take a screenshot ready yes yes ready Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. So now let's continue with this exercise. So I'm going to give you the time so you can work again with your classmates and you can select the correct preposition. You have 20 exercises. Okay, so le voy a enviar en dos partes. Se le toma una captura ahí. La primera parte de la uno from one to nine and the next one from 10 to 20. O les envío, o le, lo hago más pequeñito, pero creo que se va a ver muy borroso cuando lo proyecto. Mejor en dos partes. Ok, second part here. Number, number 90. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay, so that's perfect. Good. Are you ready? Yes. No. No. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, con la anterior y con esta, recuerden enviarme un screenshot con las respuestas. Okay. Sign manually. Automatically. La anterior la puede enviar, por favor, nuevamente, perdón. Ok, don't worry, it's ok. Ahí, ¿se ve bien? Sí. Ok, perfecto. 
So let's go. Ok, lo mismo. Trabajamos con un compañero, la llenamos y las compartimos. Pero creo que las vamos a subir en la plataforma. Igual, completen una hoja y le ponen sus dos nombres. Me avisan si hay alguien que se quedó sin invitación para compartírsela nuevamente. Virginia, hello Virginia. Hola Paula, le acabo de compartir una invitación, no sé si le apareció. Comenzamos. Yo a esta muy, no mucho lo estoy entendiendo. Y tengo solo la de la 10 a la 18 ahorita. Bueno, comenzamos de la 1 a la 9 ahorita. Es que esas no las copié. 
Aquí lo estoy Ajá, compartiendo. No lo puede ver. ya lo vi. Teacher. Hola, hola. Nos, puede eh, no la, o nos puede compartir usted la imagen y nosotros decirle cuál es la palabra. La imagen. Es que ah, no la, la, el ejercicio. Sí. Vamos acá. Ok, vaya. La... ¿Ya? Hola, compañeros. Lo que puede hacer es este, copiar los números del 1 al 20 y nada más ir poniendo qué proposición lleva. Como ya tienen las, ustedes tienen las fotos. Ah, ya. Ok, ok, ok. Ajá. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Vamos. Oh, no, 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 no. Mirna, ¿cómo vamos? Eh, estoy intentando, pero no puedo escribir sobre la... Ah, lo que pueden hacer es escribir los números en su cuaderno del 1 al 20 y ahí solamente la van clasificando. Ajá, sí lo estoy haciendo ahorita. Ah, porque ya tienen pero, la foto. Pero pensé que lo necesitaba. Sí, pero veo que es, eso me estaba mencionando los demás. Mejor solamente escribamos las del 1 al 20 y de ahí este. Después voy a, vale. voy a tratar de comprar una sola imagen. Vale, está bien. Uh -huh. Ya sé, ya después la lleno. Entonces, bueno. tanto, vamos, vayan eligiendo ahí cuáles consideran que es la uh -huh. correcta. Bueno. My, my grandfather was for to be a in. ¿En cuál? En la uh, cuatro. ¿En cuál, perdón? En la cuatro. My en la cuatro, my, gran, my grandfather was born. Ah, esa tiene fecha. Esa sería. Creo que es. In. Mm -hmm. Los cuatro. In. Las cinco. At. Las seis. La he puesto como at. Y faltaría las siete. Stuart. Usually goes. No alcanzo a leer bien. Soy cycling the evenings after work. In the Eso sería in the if, if after work. Este tiempo. Uh 
La ocho. In Canada, it always snows winter. In Canada, siempre está nevando. In Canada, it's always no in with winter. ¿Cuál? In Canada. ¿Cuál sería in? Sería in. No, creo que no es in. ¿Cuál sería la siete? Sí, la siete, creo es la... at. Sí, ah, no es la ocho. Yo pegué la ocho. No. <risa> evenings. In the evenings. Evenings. In. Uh -huh. In. Ahí está. Y la ocho igual, ¿verdad? In. Sí. Igual. In. Y la nueve, go to July. John, uh -huh. for dinner Thursday. Ajá, ¿te gustaría unirtenos para la cena el jueves? El jueves. Ajá. On. 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 Ajá, los días de la semana. On. En la once puse on. La once, no se ve la once. At, entonces. Ajá, la diecisiete es at. Okay. Ya van por la diecisiete. Hola. Ya van por la diecisiete. Sí, teacher. Excellent, you're very fast. Ahí te lo voy a dejar trabajando juntos. Wow. <ríe> Yo creo que son bien rápido. <ríe> ok. Teacher. Gracias. Mire, Yo voy a tomar una foto antes si me corrige, por favor. Ah, sí. Ya se la, ya, ya, ya se la enseño ahorita, permítame. Ay, ok. Este, la 18 de, y Mire, así es como yo la he estado notando. Ah, sí, sí, está bien. Uh -huh. Está bien. Lo que pueden hacer es después. Es difícil, no la... Sí, no, no hay problema. Uh -huh. Pero este, yo les acabo de compartir una foto. Solo que no sé cómo se, si se la ven borrosa. Sí, ya, yo les compartí una foto ahorita. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahorita tenganla así, después ya la incluyen ahí en la foto o las escriben. Ajá, sí, porque fíjense que yo no, como no puedo editar la foto, vea. Estaba uh -huh. poniéndole con, con, ¿cómo se llama? Tratando de usar la, la herramienta de pincel del teléfono, pero me sale bien feo, por eso lo intenté así. Sí, no, está bien, está bien, me parece bien. Así que nada, no, no se preocupen. Ok. Okay. Continue, guys. Where are you, Ileana? ¿Dónde está Ileana? En El Salvador del Mundo, coach. Quería yeah. poner atención a la clase. No le creo. Sí. Ay, qué chévere. Ya pusieron el arbolito. Poniendo los tacos. Qué, qué bien, imagínese dónde está ahora. Sí, para poner atención, me quedé a media calle. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> Be careful, then we are well. Okay. Continue, guys. Hello, hello. Claro. Finish. Ya terminamos. No, no puedo editar. No sé qué me pasó. Ah, 
Entonces solamente van poniendo los, los números del 1 al 20 y van poniendo la, la respuesta. Pero les compartí una foto también. Le van todos. Right. ¿Sí? Yo creo que ya para la 11, Omar. Ya, on. No, pero ya te voy a pedir las otras. Para... Ahí está, la 9 entonces. La 9 sería on. Oh. La 10. On. La 11. On. La 12. La 12. El 13. In. No, la 12. On. Ah, la 12. At. La 13. La 13. In. in. Uh -huh. 14. 14. In. in. Yo creo que aquí para allá todos eran mismos. Mm, ok. Cantí. ¿Quince? In. Dieciséis oh. también. In. In. Diecisiete también. Diecisiete también. Dieciocho. In. In. Ponle la captura y la. Ya le puedo dar captura. Yes. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, solamente verifiquen de esa la 10, la 14 y la 17. La 14. Ajá, la 10, la 14 y la 17. 10, 17, en 14. La 10, 14 y 17. Uh -huh. In verdad, in bed o oh, at. At, ajá. La 10, at bedtime. La 14. La 10 es at. At, ajá. La 14, 14, the weekend. Recuerden, ahí teníamos dos opciones, pero no era in. Era la. On, uh -huh. on the weekend. On the weekend or at the weekend. Entonces ahí pueden ponerle o at. Y, y la 17 sería on. Sí, ¿verdad? On. Uh, la sunrise. Y con, la, la, con la palabra sunrise, con la el amanecer, utilizamos at. at. Ajá, at. at. Con, el amanecer, con la palabra amanecer y atardecer sería at. Vamos, eh, vamos a ver. 14, déjenme ver. 14. ¿Qué dice el, después? El weekend. Ajá. Okay. Sí. Y las 17. Yeah, at. Mm -hmm. at. Mm -hmm, muy bien. Ok, ya estamos bien entonces. Okay. Toma la captura por. Listo. Creo que ya terminamos, ¿verdad? Sí. La 20. Sí, la 20 no se ve. La 20 era ad, creo. Pero quiero ver la oración. Sí, obviamente. Esta última es at, at night. What time do you go to bed at night? Ok, tomale captura. 
A la que escribiste, yo le tomé <ríe> foto a la que escribí. A ver cuál salió mejor. Gracias, sí, que, que no lo pudimos editar. Ok, ya. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome back, guys. Let's see, number one. So we're going to check your answers. Number one. So what do you have for number one? It says uh, he always gets up at seven o'clock in the morning. Sí, esta era la que estamos compartiendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Um, our flight to London leads on the second of July. Okay, on the second of July. The next one, number three. Can you read it, Gabriela? Uh, Sharon's birthday is in January. Okay, Sharon's birthday, birthday, birth, birthday, birthday, birthday. Sharon's birthday is in January. My grand. Okay, let's see. Um, Wilfredo, four. So what is Wilfredo? Number four. In. Read the full sentence, please. Okay. My grandfather was born in 1963. Perfect. Uh, Karen, five. I stayed up really late last night. I went to bed at midnight. Perfect. Cesar, number six. And um, do you do anything special when you on you build mm -hmm. Okay, again, do you do anything, 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 do you do anything special on your birthday? Okay, hiciste algo? Is anything? Did you do anything? Hiciste algo especial en tu cumpleaños? Seven, Sonia, please help us with number seven. Where is Sonia? Is Sonia here? Number seven, seven. The word, the word usually goes pretty in the evening after work. Okay. In the evenings after work. Number eight, Jessica. Where is Jessica? Puedo contestar. Yes, mira. In, in, elegimos. Okay, so read the full sentence. Leanos ahí la oración completa, please. Okay. In Canada, it always snows in winter. Perfect. Number nine, please help me with this one. Luis? Would you like to join your dinner for dinner, pardon, on Thursday? Perfect. Nice. Uh, number 10, please, uh, Omar? I like to read stories to my kids at bedtime. Bedtime, okay, bedtime. Eduardo, 11. 
Is Eduardo here? Yes. Eduardo, please. Thank you. Uh, the store is open on Sunday morning. Okay, on Sunday mornings. Perfect. Let's see, volunteer for number 12. We sometimes eat our lunch in the cafeteria at noon. Okay, cafeteria, cafeteria, cafeteria. At noon, 13, somebody, 13. Hurry up. Hurry up, the train will leave in a few minutes. Perfect, 14. My brother often goes swimming on the weekend. Perfect. Oh, what I said, at the weekend. Excellent. So it was good. So now it's perfect. 15. Wilfredo, what do you have, Wilfredo? 15 or, or classes finish at three in the afternoon. Okay. Ileana, um, 16, Ileana. They, veteran were a uh, popular music, but uh, in the 19 <laughs> mm -hmm. in the 1960s, uh, Virginia, 17. I saw me to get up at fundraising and those exercises. Okay, 18, Virginia. Um, but I do is to he do work in the morning. Está bien afilado. What time does he go to work in the morning? No, that's good. Excellent. And ahora sí. Vamos a ver, Virginia, le andas ahí la pregunta. Ah, uh, Jude is your farming ever good? Um, traveling, in, traveling in summer. In the summer, okay. In the summer. In the summer. Okay, in the summer. In 20, what do you have? What time do you go to bed at what night? Time? What time do you go to bed at night? Perfect. Awesome, guys. So congratulations if you have it this way. So that's perfect. Si lo tienen así, está super chévere. So now let's continue. Eh, tómale un screenshot. Okay? Esta le voy a subir. <laughs> Just kidding. Ready? Ready. Perfect. Ready. So now let's continue. Dice que no me alcanza el tiempo para compartirles todo lo que les quiero compartir. Pero sigamos. Entonces, vamos a ver un poquito el... Let's see. Bueno, vamos a hacer un listening. Antes de ser manual. I don't really like it. Let's see. Okay. Uh, anyways. So I want you to uh, pay attention to this uh, pre-listening exercises. So this is a uh, is a level, and the topic is education. We have two speakers, a man and a boy, and the length is one minute and thirty-five seconds. Pre-listening exercises. Uh, Karen, can you read the um, instruction, please, and the question? Okay. Describe a normal school day in the life of a student in your country, including hours, class jet, meals, rules, dress, and extracurricular activities. What options are there in your country to take online class through distance learning, even for children? Okay, nice. Okay, let's see. Translation. Describe un día normal. Um, en la escuela 
o de un estudiante en tu país, incluyendo los horarios, las horas, las eh, asignaturas, las comidas, las reglas, la vestimenta y actividades extracurriculares. ¿Qué opciones hay en tu país? Um, are there in your country? Take, uh -huh. ¿Qué opciones hay para tomar uh, clases virtuales, verdad? Through distance learning, incluso para niños. Tenemos aquí algunos idioms que vamos a escuchar en el listening. Y tenemos crack the books, start studying. So this is the definition. Aquí tenemos la definición para crack the books, start studying, iniciar a estudiar. The reason why he isn't doing very well is that he rarely cracks the books. La razón por la cual él no, he isn't doing, no está haciendo muy bien su trabajo, no está aprendiendo, no le está yendo bien, es que raramente estudia, ¿verdad? He rarely cracks the books. Otro idiom que tenemos acá es cut the class, or cut, cut class, cut that class. Is miss school, or skip class. También podríamos decir skip class. Have you ever skipped class or cut the class? ¿Alguna vez han saltado, se han ido a pasear en vez de irse para la clase, no sé si les pasaba, se escapaban de clase. Yes. So when yeah. you miss school. Yeah. Yes. yes. Never. In the university. Never. Uh -huh. Yeah, that happens, right? So although some of my daughter's friends cut class a lot, she's at school every day. Sorprendidos estamos ahí con los que dijeron que se escapan. <laughs> Aunque algunas de las amigas o amigos de, de mi hija se escapan o no asisten a las clases, ella asiste todos los días, right? Es responsable. Yes, yeah, so she's very responsible. So now let's listen to the exercises. Well, but it's, it happens, right? En la Gran Vía dice que se van, dice... Sí, a la Gran Vía, al cine. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have some questions, so pay attention to this. So we have, how does Joshua go to school in Japan? So copy the question. How does Joshua go to school in Japan? Copy the question. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. Copy the question. Well, copiamos la pregunta. So who can translate this question in Spanish? Who can translate it? Joshua. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo Joshua va a la escuela en Japón? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el medio de transporte que utiliza? How does Joshua go to school in Japan? Next question. So copy the question. Which item did Joshua not take to school? Which item did Joshua not take to school? ¿Cuál objeto no llevó a la escuela Joshua? So, which item did Joshua not take to school? A backpack, a school hat, gym clothes. Okay, next question. What does Josh do first when he gets to school? And here you have some possibilities. He practices his reading and writing. He stands and bows to the teacher. He puts on his gym clothes for class. Next question says, where does Joshua eat lunch at school? Ok, ahorita lo que estamos haciendo nada más es copiar las preguntas para que después les ponga el listening y tengan una idea de lo que va a salir ahí. A ver. Todos van copiando las preguntas, avísenme. And the next one is a sentence. So you have to complete that with the time. Joshua probably, probably gets home from school between 
two and three, three and four, and one and two p.m. And that's all. Do you copy the questions? Copiaron las preguntas? Yes. Everybody. Me falta la tres, la estoy copiando. La tres, okay. The last. The last one. This one. Yeah. Teacher, era la última. Le quiero tomar una captura. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Gracias. Ok. ¿Ya todos la tienen? ¿O hay alguna que se les ha escapado? Ok, so I think you're ready. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. ¿Se escucha? Do you listen to it? Yes. Okay. yes okay, here we go again. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh -huh. now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Thai Sofuku that is gym clothes, and I take my backpack and my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay, and what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kirits. Kirits. Yeah. Kirits and be. Now, what are those? It means stand up, okay. bow. Stand up and bow. Uh -huh. Okay, and what do you study at school? We study kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sanju does math. Okay. And let's see. We do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at three and sometimes at two. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. Okay. So you want to listen to that again? ¿Lo escuchamos otra vez? Yes. Sí, yes. Hello. Today I'm interviewing. Okay. So here we go. Hello. Today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group? Uh-huh. Now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Thai Sofuku, that is gym clothes, and I take my backpack and my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay. And what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kirits. Yeah. Kirits and be. Now, what are those? It means stand up, okay. bow. Stand up and bow. Uh-huh. Okay. And what do you study at school? We study kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sanju does math. Okay. And let's see. We do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at three and sometimes at two. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. Okay, so you want to listen to that again? 
Are you ready? I know there's nothing about the children's class. The children's class. Okay, no. so we're going to uh, try to show you the scripts later on. Let me see. Okay, first I want you to give me the answers that you have for this uh, question one, and then I'm going to show you the scripts. How does Joshua go to school in Japan? He walks with a group of friends. Okay, nice. So that's mm -hmm. correct. So look at this, we say we have Randall and Joshua. Eight o'clock, do you go by yourself or on a school oh, bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So that's the answer. Which item did Joshua not take to school? A backpack, school hat, gym clothes? A backpack. 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 You sure? Did not take to school. Maybe a school hat. A school hat. Ajá, tenemos que poner acá el que no lleva a la escuela. So, what do you think? A backpack, school hat, or gym clothes? Gym clothes. Let's see, more ideas. Backpack. Backpack, okay. Okay. Well, actually... It's a school hat. I take my Taisu Fuku, <laughs> that is the jean clothes, right? I take my backpack and my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Y cosas como esas, stuff like that. Uh, school hat. Uh, Ajá, acá menciona que lleva su mochila y el Taisu Fuku, that's the jean clothes. Pero nunca menciona nada de, algo, de algún sombrero. Okay. Okay, the next one, when does Josh do first? Okay, what does Josh do first when he gets to school? He sends a book of the teacher. Mm -hmm. To the teacher. Okay, and what's the first thing you do when you get to school? We do mm -hmm. Kiritsu Ray, Randall. Kiritsu and Ray, now what are those? Joshua, it means stand up and bow. Ponerse de pie e inclinarse. Hacer una reverencia más bien. Um, the next question. Where does Joshua eat lunch at school? In, in, his in, in his classroom. In his classroom, right? Okay, and where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunchroom or a cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. So Joshua probably gets home from school between two and three. Two and three. So we come home sometimes at three and sometimes at two. Perfect. So now let me show you the scripts. Hold on. So I'm going to play the listening again and you read the conversation. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh -huh. now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Taiso Fuku that is gym clothes, and I take my backpack and my book. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay, and what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kiritz. Kiritz. Kiritz and de. Now, what are those? It means stand up. Okay. Bow. Stand up and bow. Uh -huh. Okay, and what do you study at school? We study Kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sanju does math. 
Okay. And yet, see. We do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at 3 and sometimes at 2. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. Okay. So, probably these were the difficult parts that we didn't know about Koku and uh, stuff like that, right? And Sansu. Koku and Sansu. So do you study Koku and Sansu when you were at school? <laughs> uh -huh. So do you study that? Koku and Sansu. You have you have learned Japanese now. Okay, nice. Um listen up. Um please, I want you to record the audio and you're going to send me uh, the conversation with this audio, okay, with these uh, scripts. And you have to listen to it. And then you record it yourself and you send it to me. Okay, lo que vamos a hacer es, eh, voy a poner el audio otra vez. Lo, eh, no sé si alguien lo puede grabar. Y vamos a grabar esta conversación. Este listening, me, verdad, este, este audio me lo envíen a WhatsApp. Okay. So first you listen and then you imitate. Okay. So, alguien ahí que nos haga eh, la grabación. Hello, today I'm... I don't know, somebody? ¿De quién puede hacer una grabación ahí? Puede hacer una yo y alguien me ayuda ahí con otra. No, yo le puedo tomar el screenshot para la... Sí. Aquí está. Más bajito. Uy, muy abajo. Pues... ¿Por acá? Me quedé por buen, no sé qué, buen. Pero... Oh. Uh. Ajá. Ok, en verdad. Ajá. When do... De acá, de acá está abajo. De ahí. Sí, más abajito. Por eso. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Y lo último acá. Ajá. Thank you, coach. Ok. Ahora pongo el audio. Ahora pongo el audio. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group. Uh -huh. now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Tai Sofuku that is gym clothes. And I take my backpack to have my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay. And what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kiritz. Kiritz. Kiritz and de. Now, what are those? It means stand up, okay. bow. Stand up and bow. Uh -huh. Okay. And what do you study at school? We study Kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sansu does math. Okay. And let's see. We do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at and sometimes at two. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. Okay. So, did you record it? Si lo grabaron? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer ahí con ese audio es eh, escucharlo cuando usted ya lo haya 
He escuchado algunas tres veces. Y ya graba su conversación. So, okay, so we're going to pass attendance, please. Sí, Eduardo Antonio Espino Mejía. Hello, hello, Eduardo. He was here. Gabriela María Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. Gerson Romel Vázquez Díaz. Liliana Estela Serrano de Candelaria. Thank you, Liliana. Isaías Santana González. Thank you, Jessica Iberto Liliana Sarabia. Thank you, Jessica. Okay. Julio Cesar Fabián Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Cesar. Karen Leticia León Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alberto Cruz Monarca. Present. Thank you. María Elena González García. She's absent, right? Mirna Janet Saldaña de Espinosa. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alexander Palacios Rivera. Present teacher. Y la say Karen Leticia León. Yes, teacher, you call me. <laughs> okay, so it's the second time. Okay, Paula was uh, connected. Um, Sonia Maricela Tejada Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez Ventura. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez Ventura. Y Wilfredo Armando Rosales Torres. Okay, thank you guys. So that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Dígame. Falto yo. Eduardo. Eduardo. No. Sí. Allá aquí estuve, me puso rojito. Mm, sí, me parece que acá me lo han confundido con el, con el muchacho de arriba. Sí, no, ahí ya les voy a hacer lo, ahí que nos colaboren con eso. Han confundido ahí los nombres. Gracias, Ticho. Ok, gracias. Sí, audio. Thank you so much. En, nos quedamos con, sí. veamos, este día nos quedamos con. Así que, Virginia. Virginia, y si hay alguna pregunta más, pues se queda también. Alguien más. Ok, eh, lo único que les recomiendo es que pues trabajemos en el manual. Eh, estas notas son las double edge questions, lo que tienen que realizar nada más. Y pues eh, prácticamente esa es la práctica de la semana 3, eh, semana 3. Y al día de mañana empezamos con un nuevo contenido. Y eso es prácticamente lo que hemos estado viendo, ¿verdad? Semana 3, las preposiciones, las double edge questions. Entonces, nada más eso. Eh, mañana vamos a hacer un review con este manual al, al inicio de la clase para dejar ya afinado la unidad 3. Y iniciamos con un nuevo topic. Okay. Preguntas, chicos, también, eh, no sé, con respecto a la plataforma, recuerden que tenemos que ir trabajando diariamente el ejercicio de cada, de cada día. Nada más eso, recordarles. Si no, si les hace falta alguno de esta semana, terminenlo. Terminenlo porque el viernes, recuerden que siempre enviamos reporte. Bien, ok. Si no hay preguntas, chicos, I'll see you tomorrow. Ok. So have a great night, guys. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Y Virginia, nos quedamos con usted, Virginia. Coach, <risa> okay. oh, yo tengo una pregunta. Dígame, Elena. Este, en la tarea 3 de la unidad 2, 
es, yo se supone que la contesté bien, pero siempre me salían malas, no sé por qué. Todas me salían malas. Sería tarea 3 de la unidad 2. Ajá. Vamos a checarla. Clase número, no, no se recuerda qué tarea es, número. Tarea 13. 13. Pre, ajá, 13 unidad 2. Ah, sí, sería 13. Que tenía que escribir y sale, she does, eh, algo así. Yo lo escribí y me ponía malo siempre. Ahorita vamos. Ah, pero sería de la semana 2. Ajá. Si quiere le mando una captura de pantalla mañana. Ajá, mejor envíame una captura. Está bien, coach. Ok. Ok, hey, have a good night. Thank you, you too. Be careful. <risa> ok. Bien, eh, Virginia, nos quedamos con usted para la asesoría. Cuénteme cómo se ha sentido, este, si tiene alguna duda para apoyarle también. ¿Algún tema en particular? Activa el micrófono. Ahora, ahí sí. Bueno, teacher, ahí solamente es de que tengo que aprenderme varias cosas ahí de memoria, más que todo lo principal para poder entender Ajá, a veces lo que se habla, ¿verdad? Sí, algunas estructuras de presente simple, las preguntas Ajá, que hemos estado viendo. Los, los, Ajá, el verbo... Eh, los adjetivos calificativos y todo eso que los adjetivos vamos a ver también les voy a compartir la lista de verbos que a ver, parece que está acá se los vamos a compartir también pero eh, con respecto a los temas que hemos visto me gustaría saber si este hay alguno que le gustaría reforzar o, este, o alguna duda que le haya quedado a alguno de esos temas eh, pues eh, sinceramente teacher este sí los he sentido un poquito difícil pero es por lo mismo verdad de que uh -huh. a veces me cuesta entender pero una vez que ya este me aprenda de memoria lo principal eh, ya se me va a ser más fácil porque después de de clase me pongo a ver YouTube, así. Uh -huh. También. Este. Eh, por ejemplo, claves o, o formas más fáciles de, de entender el inglés. Ok, sí, me parece bien. Pero bueno, sí, no, sí está bien, está bien. Lo que pasa es que a veces, este, digamos, si vamos como... Tratamos de, de ponerles ahí varios materiales para, que, para apoyarlos también. Sí, no, eso sí, también. Este, sí me quedo repasando lo que es más que todo eso. Uh -huh, todo uh -huh. lo que nos... Cualquier Ajá. material que, digamos, que usted necesite, escríbame para que le podamos ayudar también con eso. Vaya, está bien. Con mucho gusto. Ok. Bueno, entonces nos quedamos hasta aquí, Virginia. Después si no hay ninguna pregunta. Sí, ahí con la asistencia es que no sé, no le pude contestar. Dicho, no, sí, no se me apagó. Sí, sí, se me apagó la lacto cuando estaba pasando lista. Sí, me di cuenta que se de repente se la fue. Pero no, ahí le, le marcamos. Igual siempre ah, toma, ahí. ajá, el Zoom toma los minutos, pero sí, yo sé, sé que aquí ha estado. Vale, pues. Ok, Va, pues. muchas gracias, Virginia. Pase, buenas noches. Bueno, gracias, igual.